The answer to catching these bass is just using tiny pink swim baits. All right, we're catching fish out here on pink swim baits. Let's go. Big master. Big master plus over here, boys. What's up, everybody? I'm the Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another happy banger video. Today, we're out at the same spot that I've been for like the last few videos now. But I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I have, you guys noticed, I've been doing a ton of micro fishing lately, but I also have been doing swim bait fishing every now and then. I'm gonna show you guys what I got tied up. So, right here, we got a tiny, almost one inch swim bait, and then we got a giant six inch swim bait and this is considered small for big swim baits but what i'm gonna be doing today is huge swim bait versus tiny swim bait i mean just look at the size difference between those two it is just crazy just look at the size difference between the rods <laughs> there's like four of these guys and this rod alone hopefully i'm probably gonna switch out the bait that's on the micro fishing setup just because i want to be able to cast out further if i'm trying to do like tiny versus huge but i also want to spend some time just fishing really big swim baits today because i haven't gotten to do it before where i just spend all day doing it yeah that's really about it as far as uh the challenge goes for the day you gotta clean off the terminals yeah <laughs> parker's setting up the boat right now it's also about 6 30 ish right now we're just getting out here hopefully being in the morning increases my chances at getting a big swim bait bite because i have yet to catch a fish on the big swim baits that i've been getting from world's worst i'm really hoping i can get, actually get on a big one here soon just because I don't know. It'd be fun to actually catch some more big fish. So we're gonna have to see today. I'm gonna get out on the water. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we're out at the lake on the water in the fishing spot. I've already started throwing the swim bait around, but I didn't put my GoPro on because apparently I'm not a YouTuber or anything like that. We're out at the lake and I'm throwing around that bluegill swim bait. Actually, I got that swim bait from World's Worst. If you guys wanna go check out World's Worst Fishing, go check out his channel. He custom hand pours these swim baits by hand, showing you like how he does it and everything. His channel's awesome. I love watching it and just for the satisfaction because it's like literally one of those satisfying things that you watch on YouTube. It's like what he does. It's almost like ASMR in a weird way, but it's a lot of fun to watch it. He's actually been doing some micro fishing stuff lately on their new molds that he got for it. And it, honestly, I thought that was really dope and I'm definitely sometime gonna have to try to hook up with him for that. But I know me and him have actually talked about doing a video here soon. I'm really hoping I can because it would be a lot of fun, but we're on the water. I'm gonna get to fishing. You got one? You got one for sure? That's it's a blue, blue dude. That was a Goliath blue kill. Kill. That Is was that a... what's messing with it, bro? Possibly, dude. Dude, is that the one I had the first one? Bluegill out here? I've never seen it. I've never. Dude, seen that a was a big one too. That's a decent bluegill, dude. I've never seen a bluegill out here before. That's like, Holy crap! That's, that's what. It's not that, bro. It's multi-species. For multi-species giant swim bait fishing. Dude, I don't want. I don't want bluegill. I want freaking that. That's why I was fighting so weird, dude. Like, I was just like kind of the, the first time I was like just dragging it in. He wasn't like pulling back or anything. I was like, look at this. I was like, this is, what is this? Look at this. I'm just wondering how you got hooked into him. I don't know. He's like swiped at it or something. Maybe. That's weird. I guess they're up against the tree. I have never seen a bluegill. It's your boy, Farting the Fisherman. And today I'm absolutely juicy one for you today. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, hey, there we go. That's a bluegill. Is it? Yeah, it's fighting really hard. Weird, oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a bluegill. Yeah, oh. Is it a good one? Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a, dude, the bluegill it's fights so hard. It's pulling you, bro. Oh no, he broke oh he got off. Uh, but now I'm stuck on something. You spool yourself there. <laughs> yep. I feel like I only have this much line. Need yourself some line, bro. Yeah. I think it's off the jerk bait because I got tangled in the How's it? Oh, I just got hit again, dude. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. He just hit right here, dude. Dude, are you serious? Oh my god, I hope that's all. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, that's the answer to catching these bass is just using tiny pink swim baits. Is 
that a fish? Oh yeah, it's a fish. First bass of the day, boys. <laughs> First bass of the day, boys. <laughs> Look at him. Hold He's on, so hold tiny. On. Future 10 pounder. Hold on. Little pink swim bait action. Dude, that's a pet bass right there. Oh, hi, boys. Pounder, boys. Oh my gosh, that's the smallest bass ever. I, I have to get that picture of that, bro. Where I just long arm it into the camera. Here. What if that was somebody's secret stash? Like of like lures? You can open it, you know. Can you? Oh, yeah. you can. I got a fish. Oh, Dude, yeah. He's fighting better. Might be a bluegill. Oh no! I lost the Dinkersons. No! <laughs> Three pounder. Yo, that's a fat one. Fat one? Yeah. Bro. Oh, you fat hooked. No, I didn't. Oh. He's just hooked upside down because of the fin. Oh, this just has a real. Show him what you're fishing with. How do I do it? On the Instagram? Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, sheesh. So go like that? Okay. Yep. Did I just hold it down or just press it? You just hold it down. Alright, we're catching fish out here on pink swim baits. Let's go. Alright guys, uh, we're about two hours in for the day so far. It's been tough. I've hooked a bunch of dinks and that's okay. I like hooking dinks. But right now the small swim bait is obviously... <laughs> what? <laughs> I like hooking dinks. Dink master. Dink master plus over here, boys. But... I'm trying to get bit on this big swim bait. I'll show you guys what exactly what the swim bait looks like. That is it right here. This is a world's worst fishing emerald gill, I think is what he calls this color. And this is on a 10 knot owner beast hook. It's like a half ounce or something like that. But we are really struggling for a bite here. Um, I've gotten nibbled on this. So I'm, I think I'm probably gonna dedicate the rest of the day to just throwing this around and hoping I get bit on it because I really wanna see a fish come off this bait because I think it'd be a lot of fun. But right now it's getting hot and it's getting redundant. So yeah, it's like really hot right now. Like right here, it's particularly really hot. But yeah, hopefully I can get bit on that big swim bait. We've had action here and there sometimes, but today is a tough day. The water's clearer than normal, so. I don't think I've ever skunked here. Yeah, we've never, I like, it's hard to skunk here, especially when you're out on the boat. But who knows, today might be the day, you never know. Well. We gave a shot so but i've also been throwing to show you guys the little tiny swim bait i'm throwing around right now this is the euro tackle epf swimming their hot pink color with the hot pink jig head and the 132nd ounce this soft lot jig head is pretty good for micro fishing if you guys want to check them out but i want to do some more fishing get back to what we were doing and uh i'll see you guys when i catch a fish or whatever happens all right guys all right, i have an idea that's how you cast right here just so i don't don't this place. I think we're gonna go all the way back over to the What the heck was that, dude? Did you see that? No, what was it? That was a like a six pound bass that came flying out of the water. Are you yes. Oh, we're going into a tree. Oh. You ever see hole in the wall? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just skipped that. Do you see that? That was dope. Look at that. Look, look. There he is. That mini swim bait still catching fish. That mini swim bait slays, dude. All right, guys, I'm probably going to call it for the video. Uh, we're going in right now, and it's been kind of a tough one today. Caught tons of micro fish, but no big ends. But I also did just break the uh, swim bait rod, so I didn't really have a chance to actually, uh, you know, fish it anymore. Uh, essentially, what happened is I had it pointed forward a little bit out on the front of the boat, and we ran into a cypress, and it snapped. So it's tough, but thank God I have a warranty on it, so I don't have to really worry about it too much. There's tons of bait action, it looks like, right over there, right there. 
But yeah, I'm probably gonna call it for today's video. Obviously, the micro swim bait won because it's a micro swim bait. It's gonna win every time because it's literally this big. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little short thing of me catching dink fish as usual. So, we're gonna call it. I will see you guys in the next video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, remember, fish fair me.